The IDF has bolstered its air defense and called up reservists in anticipation of Iranian retaliation for the airstrike in Damascus that killed a top Iranian Revolutionary Guard commander. Speculation has grown suggesting that Iran could attack Israel from its own territory rather than through proxies. Both Iran and its proxy Hezbollah have vowed that Israel will not go unpunished for Monday's attack on a consular building next to Iran's embassy in Damascus. The attack killed Mohammad Reza Zahedi, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps' most senior official in Syria, along with his deputy and five other Iranian officers. Defense Minister Gallant said the IDF is prepared for every scenario. Fallout continues over Israel's accidental airstrike killing seven staffers of World Central Kitchen in Gaza. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin called Defense Minister Gallant with the Pentagon saying Austin expressed his outrage over the incident and called to immediately take concrete steps to protect aid workers and civilians in Gaza after repeated coordination failures with foreign aid groups. Secretary Austin urged Israel to conduct a swift and transparent investigation and said the tragedy reinforced concern over a potential Israeli operation in Rafah and the need to ensure the evacuation of Palestinian civilians and the flow of humanitarian aid. Hamas political chief Ismail Haniyeh rejected the latest proposal made by Qatari and Egyptian mediators for an exchange of hostages for Palestinian security prisoners and an extended pause in Gaza fighting. Hania said that Hamas is at war with Israel and is sticking to its conditions for a permanent ceasefire in the Gaza Strip, including a complete Israeli military withdrawal from Gaza. Israeli officials were in Egypt earlier this week in a renewed effort to secure the deal, but those close to mediation efforts say there is no sign of a breakthrough. The other Hamas demands include unlimited humanitarian aid and a lifting of the blockade of Gaza. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel, dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative. Available on the web, Android, and Apple.